Welcome everyone, the first step to set up your Z Fold 5 is if you have any accessibility settings you need to use just tap on this icon here and then turn back the stuff you need otherwise let's tap on the blue button it's now going to ask us for our language and region so I've selected English United Kingdom now it wants us to agree to the license agreement so this one the EU LA you must agree to but sending of diagnostics data you can turn on if you want but you don't have to I'm going to leave this one off and then agree now if you have an old device you can do a quick data transfer but don't worry if you set up your phone without transferring data which is what I'm going to do you can restore the data later so I'm going to skip this one it's now going to ask us to connect to the Wi-Fi network. If you are uh, planning on using an eSIM or you know an electronic fit, uh, SIM card, then you will need to connect to Wi-Fi. If you have a physical SIM card, you can insert that physical SIM card and then skip needing to connect to Wi-Fi if you would like. It's now going to bring us to the eSIM screen. So if you have a physical SIM or eSIM from your old phone, then you tap this option, follow the on-screen instructions to transfer, but keep in mind, not all SIMs, not all devices will support that. Scan QR codes, that is scanning a QR code for eSIM. Search for mobile plans, let's say you have a carrier, you could go on their website, download a carrier plan there. And if you have a physical SIM, you can insert this one in now or later. I'm personally gonna select set up later in settings and then we are now on the next screen now we see copy apps and data this is the same as that earlier copy apps and data screen so i'm going to set up later once the phone is on the home screen so i'm going to select don't copy but otherwise you do have that option there now it's going to check if there is a google account so if you bought this phone used it may ask you to enter in your google details in my case, I'm just going to enter in my own login. A Google account is recommended because most Google services need one. So if you don't have an account, select create an account. I would not recommend uh, using your phone without account. Now we see the terms and conditions. So we're going to agree and you must agree to add your account. And from here, Google services, I prefer the Samsung services, so device backup, I'm going to disable. Use location, you will need that for apps like Google Maps, any app. So leave that one on. But allow scanning, this allows the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to stay on and use that to get your location. So I'm going to personally turn that one off. Diagnostic data, that is just a battery drain, so let's turn that one off. And then we're going to tap on the accept. And let's wait for the next screen. It's now asking to choose the default search engine. The best one, even if it uses and like takes all your data, is Google. The other ones seriously are inferior. So it's going to tap on next. Protect your phone. So this is asking to you know put a lock on your device, whether that's the Fingerprint, pin, etc. The fingerprint scanner, if you're wondering, is here. Uh, it's also in the power button. Uh, I'm personally going to skip this one, but I would re highly recommend that you do add a lock. Then we have the assistant here. I don't know if I'm the only person who never uses these assistants. So scroll to the bottom and you have skip or agree. I'm going to skip. And then I'm going to skip again. And let's wait a couple of minutes here. It will now show the recommended apps. If you inserted your SIM cards, it will have all of the apps for your carrier. And that will show up and you can just install them. So I'll select next. Now your Samsung account. This is essential for services like Samsung Pay. Uh, Samsung Pay is better than Google Pay because it supports more 
uh, card readers, uh, Samsung Backup, also superior to Google Backup. You don't have to have an account, you can use your phone without one, just with a Google. But you can also make a Samsung account with a Google account. So I'm going to sign into Google here, and I'm personally going to do this. And we see Samsung Services. No real reason to turn these ones off, so I'm going to agree. Display preference, I prefer the light mode, but you can switch this. Taking care of your phone, this is just, you're saying, don't use your fingernails because that will damage the screen. Only use the S Pen Fold Edition or Pro Edition. Uh, make sure there's nothing inside of the screen. Yeah, basic stuff. So let's tap on Next. And then we're going to select the finish option. So with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.